let's factorize. Uh, the first question is 2x minus 4. So what I have done is I have done some of the steps so that we can do the remaining. So when you factorize, when the question is factorized, what they are asking you to do is to take away the common factor. So yeah, this is when you have 2x, this means this is 2 times x. And this, uh, this is, uh, I should be using a green pen. So this is 2 times x, and this is 2 times 4. So 2x can be written as, let me use a different color, it's 2 times x, and 4 can be written as 2 times 2. So what is common is this 2 is common. So if you factor out this 2, so you write whatever is uncommon. Uh, so you write x from here and minus 2 here in the bracket. It's always good to, to check whether your factorization is right by going backwards and expanding it. So to just check, this is how you check. So 2 times x is your 2x and 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. The same way, next question, 4x minus 8. So this is 4 times x minus 4 times 2. So you have factored out the 4, so it is 4 times x minus 2. Okay, you can check it by uh, expanding this. So 4 times x is 4x and 4 times minus 2 is minus 8. So now this is ab minus ab squared. So this is ab times what gives you ab. So well, ab times 1 gives me ab. And AB times what gives you AB squared? So AB times B gives me AB squared. So if you factor out this AB, you can write 1 minus B inside the bracket. So this is the answer. And to again check your answer, AB times 1 is AB. And AB times negative B is minus B squared. Okay. Now this is 7. So let me use a different color. This is 7xy cubed plus 21xy squared. So what you do is you first look at the numbers. So what is common in 7 and 21? Okay, so 7 and 21, 7 is common. You got an x here, you got an x here. You got a y cube and a y here. So the common is 7 from the numbers, x from x, and y from y. So now you have to ask the question, 7xy times what gives you 7xy cubed? So 7x times 1, or 7x, you already have got 7. So already got 7x. So this is 7xy times what gives me 7xy cubed? So I hope you understand this is 7xy squared. Now 7 7xy times what gives me 21x squared y. So first look at the numbers. So 7 times 3 is 21. You've got an x here, you've got an x squared here. So I'd write an x. Now always you can stop and think. 7 times 2, 7 times 3 is 21. x times x is x squared and y. So you can factor out the 7xy from this. So let me use a white color. So if you factor out 7xy, which is common in this expression and also in this expression, you can write y squared from here plus 3x from here. And this is your final answer. Okay. The next question is 8m to the power of 4 minus 2m cubed minus 4m squared n. So look at the numbers first. You got, let me use a different color. So you got a 2 here, you got a 4 here, you got a 2, 8, and 4. So the common is 2 is common. You can factor out an m squared. You've got m raised to 4, m cubed, and m squared. So now tell me, 2m squared. First look at the number. 2 times what gives you 8? So 2 times 4 gives me 8. And m squared times what gives me m to the power of 4? So it should be m squared. Now 2m squared times what gives me 2m cubed? Times m. And this is 2m squared times what gives me 4m squared n. So first look at the numbers. 2 times 2 is 4. m squared is already common. 
and then you'd write an n here. So now you can factor out the 2m squared. So you've got 2m squared, 2m squared, 2m squared. So if you factor out the 2m squared, you write what is in the bracket or what is in the green, which is 2, 4m squared. This is minus m minus n. Now this is a skill that you learn by practice. So let us expand and see whether we got it right. So 2 times 4 is 8. m squared times m squared is m to the power of 4. 2 times 2m two squared times m or negative m is minus 2m cubed. You've got a negative here, so you've got a negative. That's fine. Now 2 times. I forgot, so it's always good to check. Can you see my mistake here? I should have written here. 2n, not n here. So this is a good way of checking. So 2 times 2 is 4. m squared is already there and n. So this is my correct answer. Okay. Now this is slightly different now. So you've got m squared minus 9m minus 21. Now there are different ways of factorizing this. This is called a quadratic. So what you're doing is you're finding two factors of minus 22 which adds to give you negative 9. Now minus 22 can be written in different ways. So I've taken the first possibility. You can take 11 times negative 2 is negative 29, 22, sorry. But if you add 11 and negative 2, you're getting 9. We want negative 9 here. Our intention is to get negative 9. So this option of 11 and negative 2 doesn't work. What happens if you take negative 11 and 2? So negative 11 times 2 is negative 22. And negative 11 plus 2 is negative 9. So this, when you take minus 2, minus 11 and 2, it does work. So your answer should be, so let me write the answer. So the answer here is x minus 11 times x plus 2. Okay, now to check your answer, I would expand this. This is also good practice for expansion. So let us expand this. So x times, this is my checking work. So let me write here. I'm just checking whether my answer is right. So x times x is x squared. Then x times plus 2, plus 2x. Okay, minus 11 times x is minus 11x and minus 11 times plus 2 is minus 22. And if you simplify this, you get x squared as it is, then you can simplify this to plus 2x take away 11x is minus 9x minus 22. So you can give yourself a star. Okay, so this is right. So here again, I have done the same process, the two factors of negative 30 Oops. The two factors of negative 30, which gives you plus 7. The two factors of negative 30, which gives you plus 7. So I took 2 and negative 15. 2 times negative 15 is negative 30, but 2 plus negative 15 is negative 30. So this option doesn't work. So I've crossed this option out. What happens if you take 10 and negative 3 and negative 10? That does give you negative 30, but this will give you negative 7. So this is, again, not an option. What if you take 10 and negative 3? 10 times negative 3 is negative 30, and 10 plus negative 3 is plus 7. So this is right. So that's why I have put a smiley face. So my answer should be, when you factorize, this is x plus 10 times x minus 3. So it's always good to check and this is also a good, good way of checking and practicing your expanding bracket skill. So I'm checking my work. So I'm using <coughs> x times x. This is also called foiling. And x times negative 3 is minus 3x. 10 times x is plus 10x. And 10 times minus 3 is minus 30. So my final answer is x squared plus 7x. So this can be simplified to plus 7x minus 30. And that's what we started with.
This is x squared plus 7x minus 30. Okay, let me do two more questions. So here, the same process, the two factors of plus 32, which gives you negative 12. Ah, first I took, the two factors have to be negative or positive. Because you have to have two negatives, only then you can have positive as a product. And negative plus negative gives you negative. So if you take negative 2 and negative 16, it does give you plus 32. But minus 2 plus minus 16 is negative 18. So this option doesn't work. Okay, what if you take minus 4 and minus 8? That does give you this, plus 32, and plus 4 minus 8 is minus 12. So my final answer should be x minus 4 times x minus 8. So you can check your answers by expanding yourself. So here again, I've done the same process, and the two factors should be 1 and negative 4. So here the answer should be x minus 1 times x plus 4. You can write these in any order. If someone wrote x plus 1, sorry, x plus 4 times x minus 1, they are also right. Okay, it doesn't matter because you're multiplying two brackets. So uh, this is the next question. So let me go over this. So uh, what I've done is this is 2 times x squared minus 2 times 10x minus 2 times 11. So this is 2 times x squared minus 10x minus 11. I'll do it faster now. So I'll start with x. Now the two factors of 11, which gives you negative 10, negative 11. So it's negative 11 has only two factors, 1 and 11. So I'll minus 11 and plus 1. Okay, and this is the way to check. So this is, can you see, this is minus 11x. This is minus 11x, and this is plus x. Okay, minus 11x plus x, it gives you minus 10x. So this answer is right. Okay, so let me finish off with this question. 2x squared minus 23x plus 11. So I have to have 2x and x that will only give me 2x squared. So what should I, I have to put, both the factors have to be negative because negative times negative will only give you positive. What if I put, sorry, what if I put minus 1, minus 11? Will that work? Uh, minus 11, minus, yeah, this is minus x. Can you see this is? minus x and this is this is minus 22x this is minus 22x this gives me if you add this to this does give me minus 23x and minus 1 times minus 11 is plus 11 minus 1 times minus minus 1 or negative 1 times negative 11 does give you 11 and 2x times x gives you 2x squared. Okay, now the final question is 3x squared minus 4x minus 15. So as you want 3x squared here, I started with 3x and x. So the two factors which adds to give you two factors of 15 which gives you minus 4x. So let me put, so which are the two factors? So you can say 3 times 5 is 15, okay? Or 5 times 3 is 15. So, But here it's a trick. How will you put? So let me put uh, minus 3 here and plus 5 here. Minus 5 and plus 5 and minus 3. Does it work? So let's try. What is this? This is plus 5x. This is plus 5x. And what is this too? This will give me minus 9x. So can you see minus 9x plus 5x does give you minus 4x. Okay, 3x. So let us check. 3x times x gives me 3x squared. And if you multiply the last two numbers, 5 times 
negative 3 is negative 15. So this are the two factors.